In this video, I'm going to show you how to add post-purchase upsells to your Shopify store in 2025 and beyond. Now, if you don't know what post-purchase upsells are, it's basically a new page we're going to add between the checkout and the thank you page where you can display one-time offers to your customers where they can accept it with a single click, get charged immediately and add the offer to the order without them having to re-enter their payment details again. Now, a few important things you want to know about these post-purchase offers. First thing, this is the most effective way for you to upsell customers customers without taking any risk. This is when you're going to display the offer after customers have already paid. There is 0% chance for this to hurt your conversion rate in any way. They can either decline the offer and move on to the thank you page after paying, or they can accept the offer and increase your average order value. Also, the conversion rate for the right post-purchase offer can get insane. 20%, 30% if you make the right offer to the right customer at the right time, he's going to take it. He already have the credit card in hand. He doesn't even need it. He just need to accept it and it's going to get charged immediately. So you definitely want to use this on your store. The second thing you want to know about post-purchase offers is that the design is very limited. You can do anything you want with it. Shopify provides us with a built-in UI kit. We can only use the elements from there. So it's not going to be amazingly beautiful, but it's going to be very effective. And the third thing you want to know about post-purchase offers is that not all payment methods are supported. For example, if the customer checked out using PayPal, you can only display one post-purchase offer. If he checked out using Shopify payments or Stripe, you can display two post-purchase offers. And there are many other payment methods that are not even supported. So if you're not sure about your specific payment method, just comment that in the comment section below and I'll let you know if it's working for you or not. Also, there are a few other small limitations to post-purchase offers, specific cases where it's not going to show up at all. First of all, if it's a manual payment method, it's never going to show up. Second, if it's a free order, meaning the customer didn't pay anything, the post-purchase offer is not going to be displayed. And if there is multi-currency in that order and it's not your main currency, then also the post-purchase offer is not going to be displayed. So you now know what you need to know about post-purchase offers. And before we jump into my screen, just make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and comment reconvert in the comment section below so we'll get some love from the YouTube algorithm. All right, guys, so you probably guessed it, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up using Reconvert, which is our app that we love very much. Already supported by over 40,000 active merchants on Shopify, more than 5,000 reviews. You can do a lot of other things with Reconvert, not just post-purchase offers, but this is where we're going to focus on this video. In terms of pricing, it's very convenient. You get a 30 days free trial. During this time, you'll probably see an ROI of 1000%, which is going to allow you to keep using the app, but the pricing goes as low as $5 a month for smaller stores and then scale with you as you grow. But the main goal is to maintain an ROI of at least a thousand percent or more, which is what we see on average for most of our stores. All right, so I'm in my Shopify dashboard and now I'm gonna head over to reconvert. Okay, so I'm in reconvert and this is the first page you're going to see within the app. We have two options. We can either set it up manually or just go with the best practices that we really researched, you know, analyzing tens of thousands of stores. We came up with kind of best practices that works throughout the funnel from the post purchase page, thank you page, or the status page, etc. And all you have to do is just let us know your max discount. So in by default, it's 30%. Let's say that on my store, the maximum discount I'm willing to offer is let's say 15%, all right? And then if I want to expand these offers, I can see here that for the post-purchase, for the first offer, I'm gonna have a timer, product upsell with 5% discount for the first offer. Again, because we're trying to optimize the minimum amount of discount for you to convert customers. And then we have product recommendations widget that looks slick and very nice. And for the second offer, we're gonna have, again, a timer and the product recommendations widget for 10% off, okay? So if they don't accept the first offer, we're going to display a second offer with a larger discount for them to convert. Okay, then after the post purchase page, and I'm gonna keep it exactly the same as it is. For the thank you page, we're going to have product upsell displaying the same product purchased with an additional discount of 15%. This works very well. I'm not sure why, but it works across all stores. Just getting one more product, an additional discount. If you want another variant, if you want to buy for someone else, if you just want to have two for yourself, this is a great offer. Seems to be working for everyone. So that's what we're going to have. And then for the order status page, we're going to have similar thing, the product upsell, but with a lower discount at this point, 10 percent and the product recommendations again with a 10 percent discount the order status page this is the page that the customer are getting back to to check on their order from the shopify transactional emails order confirmed order ship order in transit all of these emails are sending customers back to the order status page by default it's empty and with reconvert we just allow you to add some offers there 
So if I just want to use the defaults, I'm just going to click on get started. And then the next step is I have to put my slot, which is the group of widgets into the relevant Shopify page. In this case, we're going to start with the thank you page. So I'm going to click here to open the Shopify checkout editor. And from the list here, I'm going to select reconvert thank you page slot number one. Great, so here is my slot. You can see that I have the product upsell in here and below that we have the product recommendations which is scrollable and look pretty nice. And at the top we see a banner that only we can see. Basically we convert telling us we successfully added the slot. Just don't forget to save. So we're going to click save. And by the way, customers won't see this. If you want, you can also close that as well. Now let's say that for the thank you page, I don't want to put the offer right at the top. Let's say that I want to put it right over here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to scroll it down all the way below the subtotal. And now it's going to show up in here. So yeah, I think that looks better. I'm going to save now and go back to reconvert. All right. And as you can see, reconvert is now detected on the page. We can move on to the next step, which would be the order status page. We're going to repeat the exact same process. Amazing, here we go, reconvert slot number one. Now, because it's the order status page, I'm okay with putting it right at the top. I think it looks good. I'm just gonna save it and let it go. Great, detected, moving on to the next stage. And now we're getting to the post-purchase page. This is the page we were talking about earlier, okay? We already installed reconvert, so why not adding thank you page and order status page offers to your customers? But for the post-purchase page, all we have to do right here is to go over to the checkout setting in Shopify and allow reconvert to take over this post-purchase page. You see, there's only one app that can take over these pages. This is just what Shopify allows. So all we have to do right now is go over to the Shopify checkout settings and make sure that reconvert is our post purchase app. You see Shopify allow only one app to display anything on this page. And in order to display our offers, we need to make sure that reconvert is set up as the post purchase app. So I'm just going to click here, then scroll down to the bottom where it says post purchase app and scroll back to the bottom where it says post purchase page and select reconvert and I'm gonna hit save. Perfect, so I'm going to close that. I'm going to check status because I see that it's not detected yet. I'm just gonna check. Perfect, seems to be working. And last step, we're just going to click finish. Amazing, so we get this a success banner letting us know that everything is completely set up. I wanna do two things. First of all, I want to show you after just using the defaults, what my post-purchase page is going to look like. So I'm just going to go through the checkout and show you what the offers look like. After that, I'm going to show you how to edit the offer and add anything that you want to do in there. All right, so here is my store. Let's just head over to the catalog and let's just get, I want something else. Let's get the reconvert shirt. All right, buy it now. All right, and let's put in the payment information. Okay, so I'm going to complete the payment and now I should be redirected to the first post purchase offer and after that, the second post purchase offer. Let's just go through this. Amazing, so here is my first post purchase offer. The same product purchased with additional 5% off. For example, let's say that I got a small white t-shirt. If I want to get another one for black, this is a great opportunity to get it at 5% off, okay? Then below that, we're gonna have the product recommendations for products that we use the Shopify algorithm to display the right product. Now, let's say that I'm not really interested in any of these offers. If I'm going to click the decline button on any of those, I'm just gonna move on to the next offer. And if I click pay now, I'm automatically going to pay for the order and it's going to be added to my order. now. For the example, I'm just gonna decline the first offer and I'm gonna move on to the second offer. Great, so for the second offer, as you can see, we have recommendations with a bigger discount here. Now let's say that I do want to take on one of these offers. Let's say that I decide I want another t-shirt, okay? I'm gonna pay now and now this item is going to be paid and added to my order as a customer instantly without the merchant have to do anything. And as you can see, the t-shirt was added with a 10% discount to my order without the merchant have to do anything or the customer really have to do anything. Below that, you can see here that we have the next offer. We have the same product purchased, again, with an additional discount or the product recommendation, which is scrollable for the thank you page and order status page. It's just impossible to do the same for the post purchase. Again, as I mentioned, it's very limited in terms of design. We just do what we can with the Shopify guidelines. And if I'm going to refresh the page, I'm going to get redirected to the order status page. Now let's just do that and show you the offers over there. Amazing, so here is the order status page and here are our offers. Same goes with the upsell. So this is it for the first part of the video. Now I'm going to show you how to customize these offers. All right, so I'm back in my reconvert dashboard and as you can see, it's now empty. If I'm going to refresh the page, I'm going to start seeing some analytics based on what happened so far. 
All right, amazing. So as you can see, we had one conversion. Eventually, I only accepted the second post-purchase offer, right? So one accepted offer for 90. The ROI is infinity because I'm still in my trial. I never paid anything to reconvert, so it's infinity. The conversion rate is 25% because I've seen four offers. I accepted one. That's the overall conversion rate of my offers. For the page analytics, I'm going to see the order status page. We had one impression. For the post-purchase, we had one impression. Second post-purchase, one impression. And the thank you page, one impression. The only one that had any activity is the second post-purchase offer we had one click one conversion rate and that's the revenue and the conversion rate is 100% for that page so that's great below that we're going to see an activity report we're going to see exactly which customer when did what on what order and what was the value on that specific action so here we can see that on this order Ali Evan Chaim which is me Eric on the first post purchase offer I declined the offer for the second one I can see that I actually accepted it and that was the value of it and for the second offer you can see that i accepted it and that was the value of that action all right now let's say that you want to customize your offer you don't want to just have the defaults you have something specific in mind that you want to have for your customers in order to do that we're going to head over to the flow builder this is where everything happens in reconvert all right so this is the flow builder of course if you want to learn more there's a help video at the top right corner of the screen and if you need any help our support agents are available 24 7 in the bottom right corner of the screen on the left side i can choose what pages i want to work on and also see more analytics so for example you can see that on the thank you page here i have one slot and if i click this slot i'm going to see more analytics for each widget in the slot how he performed compared to others same goes for the order status page now let's move on to the post purchase offer let's say that for the first post purchase offer I want to display a specific product, one product that I really know that converts well in my store. Like I know that my customer loves this product and I want to change maybe the discount, I want to change the design, some of the things. Now, after we selected the page, we need to select the condition we want to edit. I'm not going to dive too deep into conditions in this video, but basically this allows you to display specific offers to specific customers on specific cases. For example, if they bought a specific product or if they bought over a certain amount of value or if they repeat customers and all of that, I'm not going to cover that but we do have the default condition the default condition is the offer that is going to be displayed to all customers if no other conditions are being met and i do recommend optimize the default condition because you always want to display a post purchase offer okay if you, even if you don't know what to offer just use our best practices i promise that alone is going to boost your revenue five percent ten percent depends on your niche and offer and all of that so let's say i just want to edit the default offer with a product that i know works so i'm just going to select the default condition it's going to open up the page that i have in here i'm just going to click it and then i'm going to click on edit widgets that's going to open up the reconvert offer editor now if you want to learn more about the reconvert offer editor again there is a help video at the top right corner of the screen feel free to just check it out later now as you can see i have a text at the top i have the timer then i have the same product purchased and i have the product recommendations now let's say that for the product recommendations first of all i want to add six products and i want to make the products per row three products per row okay so a little bit more products i want to show a little bit more product and then for the specific product that i want to display let's say that instead of the most expensive product in the cart i want to choose a specific product that i know works well for me now let's say that the pen converts very well for me because you know it's fairly cheap people can buy it very easily it doesn't require them too much i'm just gonna put it in here not a problem also let's say that i want to increase the discount for this product because i know that i can offer a bigger discount for this product i'm just gonna click on price and discount and I'm going to change the discount to 10%. Great, here we go. And the last thing that I wanna do, let's just say that I want to limit the quantity so they can't get more than three, all right? So I'm gonna go over to the quantity selector. I'm going to set a max quantity for three pens and now they can't buy more than three. So this is the maximum benefit they can have from this type of offer. All right, so I'm gonna click save. All we have to do now is just make another order and make sure that we're going to see the pen with the limitation and the different discount. And below that, we're going to see six product laid out in three product per row type of layout and make sure that it all fit the changes we made. All right, so here's my store. This time I'm gonna buy this watch. Oh, you know what? Let's go for the banner. Get shit done. Why not? And here is my post-purchase offer. As you can see, the pen specifically is at 10% discount and not 5%. And if I try to buy more than three, I just can't, the app won't let me. Below that, we're going to see the product recommendations, three products per row, and we have six products. And that's it, guys. I think you now know how to set up post-purchase offers to your Shopify store in 2025 and beyond. If you have any questions or comment, comment them down in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, so you'll know whenever we release new features and videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.